yeah, we can be our own worst critics. I think, I'm, I think each one of us here are our own worst critics. I think that tends to be the case for most people, except for people who are egocentric. But um, putting that aside, right. um, what else is there to fear? You know, it, it, yeah, so you make a mistake and you move on, but that fear How, prevents so you from what makes you so fearless? I mean, you, you kind of alluded that you're running out of time, mm -hmm. but in saying this, you seem so strong. Well, when I was your age, I didn't have kids, and I had a lot more freedom. I could choose to do whatever I wanted. This path, that path, one door shut, I just turned to the other one with a smile on my yeah. face. I mean, it's a time where you could be selfish because kids you know, that's are a lifetime commitment. Mm -hmm. It is a difference between not having responsibilities. I just want to say kids and having a few more responsibilities in making decisions. But for me and my husband, every decision that we make is surrounded around our family. So we have to think about it. And sometimes we don't make the best decisions. So yeah, what we, do you do when you we, go, oops, we, we I don't wasn't make thinking the about best the family this time. And it has a, a consequence on our family. But what we have to realize is one, we made a decision and how to bounce back. Mm -hmm. right. And I think that's what happens. We focus on we made the wrong decision and we don't show how to bounce back. That's what we're working on in our home right now. We made a very difficult decision for our family mm -hmm. and it was wrong. It was clearly the wrong decision. And now we're feeling how the are consequences. You bouncing back? Here's the 